Hey everyone, Rick here, and folks, welcome to my mini Super Crane, which is the latest addition to my game room. We gotta get it from all angles. Of course, this would work a lot better if I had the phone vertically, but uh, I can't stand watching videos, unless they're just the short videos uh, in that vertical position. But this fit perfectly right here are you kidding me something that i've always wanted is one of these crane vending machines we have this thing completely stuffed full one thing before i get too ahead of myself with this machine that i absolutely love is this display up here behind the glass so you can show off the various prizes that you have within. Obviously, as with everything I do, I really went overboard. Let's power this baby on. All right. I have the volume turned somewhat down every once in a while because it is currently in attract mode to get people's attention, obviously. Um, you may, it may start the music <laughs> so don't be scared if all of a sudden it starts playing the music but it is super bright which i absolutely love so colorful it's fantastic light down all the way down into the prize drop thing they have the lights around the coin mechanism the various flashing lights for the joystick the down button the insert coin l CD screen, but again, this display is so fantastic. I actually put the background in there myself just to keep it from being completely white like the floor and the sides would have been, just to give it a little background. But of course, with anything in my mini crane, I want it to have... There it goes. Can you hear that? It's actually kind of a cool song which i swear i've heard that song before what is that tune i can't even i can't place my finger on it anyway so we have mini gundam models we have dbz figures also dragon ball keychains we have nintendo figures we have kind of outside the realm of the rest of this anime and video game world uh we have these emoji plush keychains which are hilarious and also some other figures from other animes as well just lining this thing up of course putting some of the cooler things in the super hard to reach areas and way down at the bottom and yeah so a lot of the stuff the gundams are obviously in boxes the plushes are just on their own, but uh, their figures are individually wrapped, which was cool. So I got all of these prizes off of Amazon um, just by searching, you know, and <laughs> looking for the cheapest ones. And even some, I took some risks on some that were super, you know, maybe a little sketchy because they had like zero feedback and the price seemed too good to be true. But I got it all. I, I had no problems with it, but... You know, your mileage may vary. But how cool is that? I just wanted to take a video showing off what it looked like. But of course, we got to play it, right? So let me grab some tokens and we can get started. All right, I can't tell anyone where my pouch of tokens is hidden. Because then everyone's going to know. But right now, I have the coin mech set up to accept just these specific size of tokens. It is super easy to do that, too. You just pop it out, and there's a placeholder for coins that you put an example coin in of what you want to accept. So if you want to accept quarters, stick a quarter in there, and it'll only accept quarters. I put one of these tokens in there, so if I put a quarter in there right now, it's just going to fall right through. And yes, I have tested that. It works great. Right now, I just have it on one coin per game because I'm doing these tokens, so I can charge a dollar per token, for example. There is space for a dollar bill acceptor down there, but again, this is just for my game room. If I was placing this in public, then that would be a fantastic idea. But just to do this, you know, for fun, I just have it accepting a single token. So then you have the 30-second timer there, and what do you think? You think we can actually win something? I don't know. Let's see. Will I get that little guy? Oh, man, so close. You can set everything on this. You can set the win ratio, 
how often you want the claw to actually, and sorry if this is spoilers, you can absolutely set when the claw actually grips tight on something, how often it actually does that. You can set the claw strength. And there's actually three different uh, claw strength settings. So when it first goes down and closes, that's one claw strength. And then when it lifts the item up to the top, do, 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 do. I just wanted to hear the winning prize because we won. Which one did we win? Yes, that's how I feel all the time. And uh, so there's three claw settings, like I mentioned. When the claw actually grabs onto something, that is one strength. When it lifts it up is a second strength. And oh, when it carries it over is a third strength. So you can have it grip something and lift it up just fine, but then only one out of every four, one out of every 10. You can do any, any win ratio you want, only one out of every four, uh, you know, it might actually have the strength to bring it over to the drop zone. So you can set all of that. How cool is that? So we almost had this guy, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Can we possibly get him? Come on, come on, come on. Look at that. Oh no, son of a gun. I've won him before, just spoilers. And then I put him back in here. <laughs> He's in a prime position now to be gotten though, I think. Assuming the win ratio is actually gonna let us take him home. Is it? Oh, nope, it was too light that time. All right, I, only, I took out so many coins. Let's do one more coin. That's our final coin, because I could do this all day, I swear. I absolutely love this. Plus, of course, I put in my favorite things, anime, Gundam. We got him! Yes! Are you kidding me? Heck yes. So I don't even know how many attempts that was. Was that like eight attempts? So... At a dollar a piece, that would have been eight dollars. There you go. Here is what we won out of eight dollars. Or if they were quarters, that would be two bucks. So two bucks for this. Not too bad. Of course, I'd be losing money if it was a quarter a piece for these things. But anyways, so that is how freaking fun it is. I didn't know how detailed every, anyone wanted me to go. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'm going to put a link in the description to where I got this from candymachines.com. It only took about a week and a half or so to actually get to me by semi truck it was on a pallet i carried this thing downstairs by myself don't do that get someone else to help you for sure because oh my gosh my arms are so sore today but anyways because i just got this yesterday but it is so cool there's so many settings you can change obviously the volume the led flashing lights um the claw strength settings, all sorts of other settings that I didn't really want to mess with, to be honest. But there you have it. Also, of course, how many coins it takes in order to run or what the credit is. So, yeah, mini super crane, this display to show off all the potential prizes. How cool does that look? If you saw one of these crane machines, assuming you're an anime fan, I just feel like that would be like the absolute best. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. So now I have to put these back. <laughs> but yeah, we have a lot of tokens. And I just think it looks right at home. Does it not look absolutely right at home here? Oh, just absolutely love it. It is fantastic. How much was it? Oh gosh, I can't even remember now. I think it was like a thousand dollars or something like that. Twelve hundred dollars including shipping. But I mean, to have my dream come true of having a claw machine in my game room filled with whatever you want. And look how deep it goes. Look how far down it goes. It goes down quite a ways. So you can have a whole bunch of stuff just absolutely piled in here and this divider thing slides up and down so you could raise that even higher and put even more stuff in in fact i could probably put more stuff in there now but i think this is probably pretty good for just what my use is but anyway folks that'll do it thank you all so much for watching i do truly appreciate it and until next time